Lionel is, um, I've known Lionel for a long time. I've known Lionel since before he was Lionel. I would like to ask you about, obviously, the most famous Canadian triathlete at the moment. What did you think about Lionel's success yesterday? We could talk for a couple hours about St. George if you want. It's, uh, that, was, uh, that was one for the ages. Um, you know, I'll tell you, um, it was just so interesting to see all those athletes on a completely different course after years and years of Kona, you know, after years and years of, um, of basically same climate, same course, and same kind of athletes having success. We're like, who, who's going to rise to the top? And, um, and of course, just some new faces showing up as well and, and new skill sets. And obviously Blumenfeld um, setting the world on fire at every distance over the last 12 months. Like maybe we've never seen one of the all-time greats already. And he's not even 30. Um, but uh, Lionel, Lionel is, um, I've known Lionel for a long time. I've known Lionel since before he was Lionel. <laughs> when, when he was an emerging uh, Canadian athlete and obviously had some talent. Um, he was a heck of a runner who, uh, you know, had some personal struggles early in his life, which are well documented and um, managed to rechannel his personal struggles into a more positive pathway of sport. And I think with that came a, just a burning desire, passion, um, to, you know, be probably more committed to any other athlete to looking into every single corner of his mind and soul to see what he is capable of. And, you know, I, I would say as a result of that, he's, he's, I mean, you won't see a more passionate and gutsy trainer and racer gutsy. anywhere in the world. You, uh, there, there's, there's no quit in that man. And I'd also say, you know, in some ways, it's probably been his Achilles heel a little bit over the couple of years, too, in, in that, uh, you know, overthink and rethink and change. And I, I remember when he came second in Hawaii and um, and then he made great changes. And um, I, I, sent him, I sent him a note and I said, you're close. <laughs> you know, I said, you probably could just repeat the same training cycle, <laughs> you know, have the cards dealt just a little bit differently on the day and, and you're going to win, you know, you're always going to be there. But for, for Lionel, that's not enough. Like he wants to make sure that not only is he in the mix, but he's got an opportunity to, um, you know, to dominate and to, you know, find his own personal um, excellence as well, just like everybody else, you know, so Really inspiring guy. Um, I like how he is just so, uh, he just pulls the curtains back and says, here I am. This is who I am. This is my experience. And he's, he's super authentic. And, um, you know, it's refreshing for our sport, to be honest. You know, it's, uh, he inspires a he inspires a lot of people. Why people love him so much because he's just so authentic. He's not, you know, he's not hiding anything. He's, he's not trying to like be cagey or kind of like, uh, you know, I'm not going to share my, my, my training plan or my, you know, my power files with anybody. Yeah. It's secret. And he's just out there and honest and he's yeah. relatable. And he's, you know, he's, he's so much like all of us in so many other ways. He's, he's human and he's, he's weak. I mean, yeah. he's not weak, but he's got weakness. Like we all do. Jan Frodeno does too, but you don't know it. You don't yeah. see it. Right. So that's the sort of persona. Yeah. He's, yeah. That's the lore of Yan. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, um, it works for him as well too. You know, I mean, Yan will pull up to a lot of races and win before the gun even goes off because it's Yan. <laughs> but, um, Lionel, like, like you say is, yeah, he's, he's, he's relatable. You know, he makes mistakes like we all do. Um, uh, he, he works through the trials and tribulations and overcomes and has success. And, uh, so we cheer for him because of that, you know, he's, even though he's a champ, even, even though he's a champion, he's always feels like an underdog. For sure. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. I don't think Jan would show up if he couldn't win, but Lionel will, will happily lose, but put it all out there and let everybody see it. And that's kind of endearing to everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. No, he's, uh, he's good for our sport and, um, he's, uh, he, he's an absolute inspiration. Amazing. Hey, this is Lance Watson of Life Sport Coaching, and we coach athletes in over 40 countries worldwide, all levels from Olympians, Ironman champions, right over to aspiring beginners and amateurs. Everybody deserves to find out what their own human potential is. And if you like the video, like and subscribe.